Hey, DFY crew. This is Ari and Lovely Q with y'all today. We have a special guest on, and her name is Brandy. How do you pronounce your last name, Brandy? Head not. Head not. Okay. It's Miss Brandy Head not. We have her on the show today for Book of Love Hymns. And we're going to just go through a few questions on how she began and what her book is about. So you all can go on and purchase it from, is it just on Amazon? It's on Amazon. It's um, um, Barnes & Noble, either in-store or on-store. Um, on, online, people want to go to in-store or any of the major bookstores. Okay. Um well, I have uh, I have copies uh, from Elad as well. Um, hold on one second. Are you able to speak a little closer to the speak to the to the phone? Because it sounded a little far away. I'm sorry. Uh, hello. Hello? Yeah, it sounds really far. I'm not sure. What's what about now? Can you hear me? Yes, that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Can you repeat it one more time? I'm sorry, Brennan. Hold on one second. Can you um come a little closer to the phone? Okay. What about now? Yeah, okay. Because it was going in and out. I'm sorry. That's probably, let me see. Is this better? Yes, it sounds so, so much better. Okay, I had to took myself off the speaker. Uh, speaker phone. But yeah, um, I kind of, I've always been, had this entrepreneur uh, side of me. I grew up in a family of, of entrepreneurs, but um, I, I always wanted to write. I just didn't have, um, I guess, the time or the the right motivation at the time to write. But um, this book came along as I've, you know, been through many relationships and I thank God that I hadn't been in bad relationships, but however, the relationships, they didn't work out for one reason or the other. So, you know, being as a sheltered kid, I didn't get the, I had to, it's a lot that I had to learn on my own and bump my head through, you know, and when I wrote this book, I titled it Him because um, I had been married before and everything that was in my marriage, it, it was it wasn't a bad marriage. It was it was everything just fell into place. But um I felt like I was missing something and at the point that I decided to write, it was another book that I was actually going to write, which I am still going to write. I'm in the process of writing it now. But uh this book came first because I prayed to God and, you know, I I pretty much did a request list to God, if that makes sense. Like, you know, the next man that you send me or the next man that I meet, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want. And um, before meeting him, which I had already met him, if you it, if you read the book, it, it, it said I, I, I already knew him. But when I got back in contact with him, everything just lined up. And I hadn't even discussed or, you know, mentioned anything about wanting to write or, you know, anything about you know, what I wanted, the qualities that I wanted, you know, because I didn't learn qual- the qualities of um, a relationship until later on. Because when you're younger, you just, you know, free and doing whatever, you know, and um, not until you get older. I guess that's why they say wisdom comes with an age, because not until I got older, um I'm not going to, I don't want to say my exact age, but I'm over 35 years old. I'm over 35, but um, a lot of stuff that I learned. And when I made that, that request, and it, it was a request, but it was, it was a prayer is what it was. Um, and I, you know, got got into, you know, really trying to seek God or whatever. And everything that I, that I listed out, you know, as far as what I wanted, when I, was in the conversation when I did get in contact with him. Um, it seemed like everything just fell, and I mentally was making note like, oh, okay, oh, okay, well, this takes out, okay, well, this too, and that too. But it's work that I had to do on my part um, before I could, um, and, and I'm still in the process of, 
of doing that work. Even though I may have found him, I still, you know, we're states away, you know, so this is a long distance. But we're from the same place. We're from the same town. We grew up together. But um, it's uh, it's work that I have to do on myself because, you know, when we're in relationships and stuff, um, we – it takes two in a relationship, and um, each person is their own individual person, and you have to know yourself before, you know, I or I feel this way. I feel you have to really know yourself before you could even um, really expect certain things or expect something from a, um, from another person to give you. Um, I don't – I believe that you – have to be a complete person you know you have to you know most you know the world now is um independent you know i have to be independent to do this and no you don't really have to be independent but you have to know yourself know your worth know your values know what you want and be able to um uh give give to the relationship you know benefit the relationship but if you don't know yourself then you know, it's, you, you accept anything. But this is the stage in my life where I've gotten to that point, and I'm like, okay, well, I can see now. When I was younger, I, I wasn't able to see. But him, he's he's the dude. <laughs> well, that's good. So I guess going off of that, so um, how long ago did you reach back out to him? This started um, at the beginning of this year, 2019, oh, wow. at the beginning of – now, uh, we've known each other since we were kids. Right. Like, kids, sixth grade. I was fifth grade, and I think he was seventh grade, or going from right. sixth grade to seventh grade. Yeah, since we were kids, but um, we dated in school. At, I, well, not until I got in high school we dated. Um, once I got into high school, I guess – I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was because I was junior high. I don't, I don't know what it was, but not until I got into high school, we dated, and it kind of. I mean, like I said, I wasn't able to move around freely like most kids. You know, of course, I did prom and I went to school dances and I went to events. I played sports and all of that, but it was more of a, you know, you you, I'm, I was only out to be able to participate. And I was back in, and people looked at me like, "Oh, you're the you're uh, the church girl," is what they would call me. But um, <laughs> I appreciate that now. Yeah, I appreciate that now. But I didn't understand it then, and it kind of frustrated me. Like, why can't I hang? Why y'all look at me different? And why can't I hang with y'all? Or why you know? But my the mission that I'm on in life now. I understand a whole lot, and that's what my next book is entailing. Everything that I that I grew to learn, and I thank God that I didn't get to go through the hardships in life like I like you know some people unfortunately has experienced. But yeah, me, we dated in school, and it's like it was unfinished business, is what it was like because it just dissolved. We didn't end the relationship. We just we he ended up going into um, the service. And that crushed me. That that really crushed me because I'm like, I never see him again. No way possible. I never see him again. But it what, started out. Go ahead. I'm sorry. What what made you reach back out? If um, I I just did. I just did. Um, I didn't know that it was going to happen the way it happened. Um, I had been talking. Uh, me and God had gotten a closer relationship, and actually, I was I was currently in a well, I was go, I was ending a relationship, and that's when I mean I've started a new level because um, that's what life is about different levels. You know, you you go on different levels, and everyone's not meant to go on different levels with you. You know, I do believe that, but I didn't feel that what I was trying to do for me. You know, and what I wanted for myself, that person, he, he didn't understand it. He wasn't, you know, and to me that kind of turned me off. And I was like, no, this is not a relationship for me, you know. So um, 
I just randomly, I, I, I just, and the thing is, I had been, 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 um, cause I, I'm a stylist, I'm a hairstylist, and I, me, we had been, we hadn't been around each other in over 20 something years. We hadn't talked to each other, but I've been around his family or whatever, so I kind of knew, you know, you know, that, okay, he's okay, you know, but I hadn't talked to him. But when I just, I, so I got his number. Um, I had been had it, but I never used it. Never used it, cause I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, cause I, I, I was nervous, I guess, or just like, okay, what do I say anyways, even after all these years? So I never used it. But I finally just texted. Cause what I did. I just texted and it was like, hey, you know, this is Brandy, how are you? You know, um, and the response that came back was it was warm. It was, you know, because I thought I had the wrong number. After all these years, I'm like, okay, well, this somebody else has probably got this number. And now, because I put my name in the text, they know my number and my name now. So I'm just hoping that it's the right number, and it was. And from then, it started, like, conversations. Like, eight, even though we both work, we're both in two different time zones, too. And we on the phone eight hours, nine hours a day. Like people, I'm, <laughs> I we're constantly on the phone, and we was trying to figure out, okay, well, what is this? You know, what you know, this is. Um, one of my friends said something way before that uh, event happened. She said, well, you know, who's to say? Because at that point, I was like, I'm not talking to nobody. I don't want nobody approaching me. I don't want nobody to come up and ask because, you know, I'm going to need for God to send me somebody because I obviously don't know what I'm looking for, obviously. I've been doing choosing wrong. So she was like, well, just think about this. You still have to, you have to open, you keep yourself open because it's somebody else that's praying the same prayer that you're praying, that you're praying. It's somebody else that's in the situation that you're in that's feeling like, you know, they at their wit's ends would find a, um, the right person. And it just happened. I did. It's crazy. That's why I titled it him, because he checked off everything. He didn't know this. He didn't. He didn't know that. He didn't know anything about what I had been praying for. Any because we hadn't talked to each other. We hadn't texted or anything. Emailed nothing. So I'm like, yeah, everything. And it's in my book. Everything is like, okay, well, this is him. Mm-hmm. But I have to put the work in. Work in meaning. Me personally, everyone has something that is uh, not necessarily a bad side of them, or it, it, we we have our own personalities, our own. Um, I'm trying to think of the word Th- things that we need to work on for ourselves. You know, whether it's trust, uh, may, whether it's patience, whether it's you know just. Um, Caring, you know, or, you know, but for me, it was trust and patience, trust, patience, because I'm quick to just end the relationship like, okay, well, and this is not working out, then I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think that's a, a woman thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what most, yeah, because, I mean, I, I, I've always seen it like, why spend your life, you know, spinning your wheels? And, you know, some people, they're with each other and they're not going anywhere eight nine years you give that much of your time i've done that before it wasn't eight or nine years but it's been three four five years and you still come up with nothing so that's why i learned to just i'm just that's it (laughs) if it doesn't add up and we're not trying to move towards something it's okay for it not to be perfect i wouldn't want a perfect relationship or a perfect marriage but we're not trying to move towards something then it's you have to you have to add it up, and if it don't work, if it don't make sense, or it doesn't seem to make sense, you have to step back and see what and and do what's best for you. And that's what I've always done. So I ended most of my relationships. I'm not bragging about that, but because I it's because of what I know now, what's working inside of me now is something that I've never paid attention to that I'm supposed to be doing in this life, and I'm just not getting there. 
I've done my whole thing. I did everything that I thought I was grown enough to do all of my life and not paid attention to, hey, I'm knocking and I'm trying to show you something. I'm trying to get your attention, you know. So that's why I'm there now. So I finally stopped. And and I'm just, I'm, I'm listening. Hmm. So have you ever thought about expanding on each of the relationships that you had. So while reading it, I've noticed that, like, you would cut short because mm-hmm. it is a short book. So you would, like, cut short and just kind of, like, be like, well, I was married, and then you just go on to the next, like, thing. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, because um, I did it like that because the main focus of this book was for him, was on right. him. You know, I did – I um, I I – I didn't want to go into a whole lot of details about, oh, well, you know, my marriage didn't work because of this or because of that, you know, because it wasn't, it's not about that anymore. I'm on a, I'm, it's, it's about him, you know, and where I'm at now. But, right. like, none of my relationships ended, you know, like, bad, like, abusive. And I, I came close once, and this was in my early 20s, and I learned then you know, what to accept and what not to accept. So I'm not here for none of that, you know. But um I haven't I haven't had it's just I've always been the one to leave because or we've agreed, but I've always initiated, hey, you know, this is not I don't feel this anymore, you know, this cuz I was going into myself. I was going into the level that I'm um coming up on now and I didn't know it you know and you can't keep doing the same thing and expecting something different for a long time I have attracted the same type of dudes the same type just different bodies Mm -hmm. different area codes or different zip codes same type you know some people say you know you you attract who you are I don't I don't know but you know I just know that when you're trying to find yourself, there are there are certain things that has to fall off from your life. And sometimes I've gone back and picked up, you know, relationships that didn't work the first time. Um, but I've learned that's not, you know, I'm, I can't do that anymore because that's not growth for me. You know, I, most people, you like to see the good in people, you know. And women, we naturally are nurturers, and we want to try to fix or think we can fix him up, but you can't. Mm-hmm. So I, I just didn't want to, you know, just, you know, put the details of all of my relationships in my book because it was it, it's titled Him, and it's about, you know, m- me finding him. So what does he Tell think me. about the book? What does he think? Yeah, he read it and he likes it. He's he likes it. He's like uh because the, while I was writing it, I was reading it to him, reading you know, and it's a lot of it that a lot of history that I brought up, a lot of memories that I brought up in this book that made him think about back in school days. A lot of people that read my book, they that actually went to school with me or knew anything about, you know, my upbringing and all that, they they can read this book, you know, it it kind of brings back memories to them because, you know, um, I try to go into a good amount of details to get the people to understand what I was trying to say in my book, you know, as far as what he looks like, what he smells like, you know, the dimples in his face, his smile, you know, even down to the way that he walked. The people that 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 was around that seen that I went to school with or were, we were friends with, they they understand what I mean, you know, when I describe certain things in this book. But he he came back and he was like, yeah, you brought back a memory, you know, I forgot all about that or, you know, just back down memory lane. Mm. And when I told him the title, he was like, "Oh, him. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's good. Okay." <laughs> and I, I explained to him why I was titling, titling, titling my book him, because I've never, out of, I mean, 
you meet guys and, and they say one thing you can do something else or, you know, this is the first time ever. First time ever where it's been just laid out like the way that I put it in the book, like he come back and this is it. And he didn't know anything about it. The only thing he knew was I had titled my book him and I was writing a book in regards to us, you know, the history of us. You know, once I um, started getting the revelations that I was getting, you know, the dreams started. And I, my dreams are, a lot of my dreams are, are prophetic dreams because I didn't understand them. You know, when I was younger, I I grew to understand them. A lot of dreams that, that happen, it takes a while for them to come to pass, but they actually happen. And I was having a lot of dreams. Even before we even got got back in contact with one another years ago, I was dreaming about bad things happening to, to him. And I hadn't talked to him, hadn't seen him or anything since 97. And... When we got back in contact, I was correct. But it took all of those years, you know, and the dreams that I started having once we got back in contact with each other was, it was, I've I've learned to, to read my dreams. And sometimes your dreams are, they're correct, but, you know, they're kind of mirrored or they're kind of, a small thing is different in your dream versus what actually happens in real life. But at the end of the day, what end up the um, the main part of what's in your dream, it ends up happening exactly the way you see it, and, um, if that makes sense. Like I dreamed that in the first dream that I had was we were surrounded by a lot of people and we had been around each other every day. But we never paid attention to, or I never, because it was my dream. I never paid attention to to him. I seen him though. We were past each other. I, but we never. I would speak. I would, you know, speak to the people around me. But me and him never said anything to each other until that particular time in my dream, and we walked past each other. And it's like we both turned and looked. I I passed him, and I turned and I looked. And he stopped and he turned and looked at me. And it's like we automatically just grabbed hands. And it's like an understood thing. Like we naturally were connected to each other. And we grabbed hands and we were walking. Mm -hmm. So what's happening next with y'all, if you don't mind uh, asking? What's happening next? (laughs) Well, like it's a long, it's a long distance relationship. So, uh, um, eventually I will, uh, well, we're, we put it like at, at some point we're going to have to come to the table and, and discuss how we're going to get, the, how we're going to work this out. Um, right. It's still kind of early, but it's like, like I said, it's an understood thing, you know, and we still have to grow. Even though, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's new to me and it's new to him for long distance relationships. I've never had one. And mm-hmm. if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have one because I, that's, you know, if I can't see you, if I can't talk to you every day or, you know, well, we talk, you know, a lot, but, and thank God for a, a video chat or whatever, but, or uh, Skype and all of that, but we're, we're, it's, it's a feature. It's a feature. Mm-hmm. It's just, you know, we just gotta, you know, like, like the preacher say in church, hold what you got, you know. <laughs> You just gotta keep going the way that you're going. And, and not let, you know, the fact that you're over 1200 miles away get in the way, you know. But again, that's where I was being, um, my, um, prophetic words that was given to me. Your trust, your love, your patience, your misindependent attitude, you have to get rid of it. Cause this man, he can't. This, this, he's. That's not for him. He's not gonna be able to deal with it. So when I say self work, I have to work on my. Cause I was raised to be independent. I was raised that hey, regardless if a man can bring something to the table or not, don't let what he has for you to eat be the only thing that you eat. You have to be able to take care of yourself. So, I. That's part of what I'm working on for myself. You know, the the trust. You know, because. <sighs> That's a long distance relationship. You, if it's not, 
if you don't have if you don't have trust, then whew, that's the test. Mm-hmm. That's, that, that's the test. A lot of people that I, a lot of people that I that I mentioned, you know, the long distance relationship too. Um, the the people that knew us growing up and knew how in love with this boy I was back then, they understand it completely. But just random people, you know, asking and me telling them it's a long distance relationship, and for sure when I tell them how far apart, they're like, "Ooh, child, I couldn't do that," you know. But everything isn't for everybody, you know. So you have, I mean, because I look at it like this: if he was close by, then if I look back on my past relationships, we end up doing the shacking up thing. Notice I said I was a, pre, a PK kid, or I'm still a preacher's kid. My dad still passes, but the shacking up thing. Everything is so, it's, it's easy to get comfortable, you know, once you're, you're you're close, you know. That's a good thing, but, you know, I believe that God knows what he's doing when he does what he do, because I made a joke to God. I say I say, really, Lord? I say, you going to put him way that far away? Really? But I know what he's doing when he's doing it. You're going to have to add. One of the, the words that came to me was, it's not going to come to you as easily as it came to you the first time. Meaning my marriage. Everything just, my first marriage, everything just fell into place. You know, we got engaged. We we had a, we bought a, a nice house. Everything just, everything was just easy. And he was easy going. Like, so he was easy going, you know, it's just different people. You have... Um, if you don't know yourself or you, or sometimes you can put ex- expectations on people that they can't fulfill at the time, you know, and definitely if you're not patient and you're not, you're not, you're going to, it's not going to work, you know, and that's what, that's how that happened. You know, I wasn't patient enough. So I feel like God is telling me. Hey, you! I give it to you. You got it, but you're going to work for it. Mm-hmm. And in working for it, I'm working on myself and working for it. It's not, you know, a physical work. It's just a self work. Because you, if you don't know yourself, you can ruin a relationship that's meant for you. Yeah, people say, well, if it's meant for you, it's going to happen, or you know, it's not going to this and that. God is not going to put a person in your life where you know that that he that is supposed to be there for you to ruin them because of your own you know selfishness or because of your own hangups. I don't I don't feel like that. Yes, you know there are people that you meet and you have a you are you're supposed to meet them, and sometimes it's for a season, sometimes it's for a lifetime. But I feel like this time around for me, it's more of a learning lesson for myself because of what I, when I said, okay, well, I'm done, you know, I'm, I've been doing everything my own way, the way I wanted it, and, and you know, it ain't worked out. I knew how to go to the source to get it, though. But guess what? The source is telling me, you have, this is what you're going to have to do then. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to work on yourself, and I'm I'm not saying work on myself as in oh well, you're you're you know you're a bad person. No, it's just it's easy for me not to trust the person. If things right. don't add up, I'm not gonna trust what you're saying, and which is gonna bring back questions. And I have to work on myself. He has to work on himself because um, there are things that he has to you know. Self work on his behalf as well. So I feel like we're both coming up on two sides of the mountain, and when we get to the top, we get to the top together. Right. That's that's awesome, though. I, I really wish y'all the best in the future. Hopefully, soon y'all could meet up together. <laughs> and yeah. together and enjoy the rest of your life. Um, but we're coming up on our time, but before you go, I want you to just give all of our listeners, like, your Instagram or Facebook, 
um, just so they can uh, follow you and just be on the lookout for anything new and exciting that you have coming up. Okay. Um, my Facebook is uh, Brandywine Author. Um, or Brandywine the Author. It's actually what happened was I started a Facebook under my author name, my Brandywine, Brandywine the Author, and when I started my Instagram page. Because I had a previous Instagram page, I guess, under my Brandy had not, something happened. So I had to go back and had to switch up something. So it's Brandy Wine um, Author um, on Instagram and Brandy Wine Author or Brandy Wine the Author on Facebook. Okay. Well, it was nice chatting with you. Um, we definitely dropping some gems for the ladies. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. And you. And you know what? <laughs> I, I really hope I'm I'm gonna keep writing because I wanna inspire people. I wanna inspire especially women, you know, because being a single mom, some people just give up and I ne there's never been anything in my story that, that will show that I gave up on anything. It's just sometimes it just it's a delay and it's always a delay for a reason. Yes it is. Well thank but you. Things we appreciate you spending time with us and talking about your book with us. We enjoyed it. Um, it was a very nice short read. Hopefully, um, we'll be able to read some other stories of yours in the future. And you will. I'm working. I'm almost done with my second one now. But it's like yeah. I had to get this one out of the way because it kind of blew me. You know, like, surprise. So I had to write it. I had to write the story. Well, that's, that's good. We'll be on the lookout. And uh, we'll be waiting for the next one. Okay. Well, thank you for, for interviewing me. And um, you all take care and have a good day. You, you too. too. Thank you. Have a good time. You're welcome. You too. Bye-bye.